and I'm back again, and I am fully vaccinated as of today. It's, Woo! Woo! Yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah, it's been exactly two weeks now since my last vaccine dose or shot or jab if you're in Europe. <laughs> yep, I'm now fully vaccinated. So that means that I can now hang out with people without a mask as long as we're outside and everyone is also fully vaccinated. <laughs> yep, <sighs> yep, yep, that's what they said. No, but I'm really still gonna wear my mask when I go into uh, different businesses and around other people I don't know. But my uh, parents and sister are also now fully vaccinated too, so yeah, my whole family's vaccinated, which is great. Uh, I was hoping to be uh, vaccinated sooner uh, because you know, I had my job uh, that I worked one week. Uh, I was working for a hospital, so technically I was a health worker, so I, I was hoping that I could you know, get a line sooner and get uh, my vaccine uh, and maybe be all vaccinated by the time I started work uh, at my job or, or, or at least get both my shots by, by the time I started working. Uh, and yeah, yeah, I tried. I, uh, I e emailed the person I was uh, corresponding with about uh, trying to get my vaccine, but uh, she said that I couldn't get my shots until uh, after I started working my new job uh, but then the, the very same day that uh, I, I got her email uh, my, my, my governor announced that they're going to be moving up the uh, scheduling for vaccines because it was originally going to be that People like me, you know, young, healthy, no pre-existing conditions, they weren't gonna be able to get the vaccine until I think the last week of April. Uh, but then they, they decided to move it up uh, almost a month sooner. So the, the Monday after the governor made the announcement is going to be open to like 18 to 40 year olds, I think, who did have pre existing conditions. And I, I did go online and look at the list of uh, what is considered a pre existing condition mental health issues that uh, qualify. <laughs> but I, I did uh, call up this COVID hotline just to see if I could get in if I had a family history of those pre-existing conditions. A, there's, there's a couple that were in my family, like like, uh, like heart, heart disease, I think was one. Yeah, so I talked to someone, asked them if family history counts, but they said no. 
you had to be the person with uh, the pre-existing condition to get uh, the, the shots. And so, so uh, I would have had to wait another week, but then there's another announcement from the state government that said uh, that they were going to allow counties to uh, change the, the uh, scheduling. So uh, my county that I live in, they, they actually moved up the scheduling. So uh, last day in March, they opened it up to everyone uh, and who lives in my county. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, everyone over the age of 18, of course, they announced this like you know, a couple days after I right? called the hotline. So, so, two times in the same week, first in the middle of the week, talking to person from my work, old, old work. <laughs> uh, and then the, at the end of the week, the COVID hotline. So yeah, yeah, twice in one week, I had to communicate with someone. And then uh, almost immediately after, it didn't matter. Yeah, so I'm like, like uh, I should have just waited. Then I wouldn't have to uh, talk to anyone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because I uh, gotta get ready to talk to someone. Like it takes me a little while to uh, uh, just just get the get the courage to reach out and talk to someone and get everything I want to say ready. And the, yeah. And those two times were wasted, but <laughs> I'm glad I'm now fully vaccinated and my family is, and uh, I hope everyone else gets vaccinated too. Uh, I think now people all 16 years or older can get vaccinated. So yeah, we, we need uh, all the people we we can get vaccinated because you know just look at India right now they are not doing well at all they, they've had over 400,000 new cases of COVID uh, for two days straight I think yeah it's bad in that country yeah, yeah, and you know, getting vaccinated helps everyone. More people who get vaccinated, the uh, fewer chances of the virus spreading. So yeah, but there's still a lot of vaccine hesitancy going on, and. and it's actually been going on for a while. Yeah, I hope that it changes. So then hopefully by the end of this year, things will be uh, better than normal because if we get back to normal, then we'll, we're uh, back to like not being prepared. So hopefully things will get better than normal by the end of this year. And yeah, there, there's a lot of misinformation going on around the vaccine. But like, yeah, I even heard that there's something on the web that says that Hank Aaron died because he got the first shot of the COVID-19 vaccine, even though he was almost 90 years old and had other pre-existing conditions. So that's 
most likely why he died and not because of the vaccine. So, like the, the end is in sight and we're almost there. And we're this close to the end. But just gotta get vaccinated. So that's it for this uh, vlog. And sorry about the lawn uh, uh, mower or weed eater, <coughs> whatever it is. It's a really warm day here today. So. Everyone's out doing yard work, but yeah, so uh, until next video, goodbye and get vaccinated.